Welcome back to the Almost History Channel. Today we have Ponce de Leon, a Spanish explorer. Ponce de Leon was a Spanish explorer. He explored different places like Puerto Rico and Florida. On his expedition, he was searching for gold and the fountain of youth for his own personal gain. Challenges with the expedition Most of the challenges faced on the expedition were native related. The natives didn't like Ponce de Leon or his crew. They were scared as they brought disease and fear to the other natives. Other challenges faced were because they didn't have all the supplies they needed on the ships, so they had to go and forage for resources like food. They had to find food that was not poisonous and would not hurt his crew. Motivation for De La Expedition The motivation for the journey laid in Spain's greed for wanting more golden land. It also came from Ponce de Leon wanting more fame and to be forever living. Exploration Ponce de Leon joined Christopher Columbus on his second expedition to the Americas. Ponce de Leon's fleet of ships landed in the Caribbean in November of 1493. They landed in the island of Borinquen, which is now Puerto Rico. There he became the first governor of Puerto Rico. After Ponce de Leon landed on Puerto Rico and got gold for the Spanish Empire, he sailed to what is now Florida. At first, he thought it was just another island on the Caribbean. Later, he found out that he was on a peninsula. He discovered areas along the coast of Florida and then traveled back to Spain. There he was named military governor of Puerto Rico. He traveled from Spain to Puerto Rico to defeat a native uprising that had occurred. Fountain of the Youth In 1515, Ponce de Leon sailed the Caribbean in search of the Fountain of Youth. Just like Ponce de Leon, I'm searching for something as well. I'm trying to find the headphone jack on my iPhone 7. And so the both of us were just looking and searching and we can't find it anywhere. Then what do we do? We quit. Ponce de Leon started his journey from Spain to Puerto Rico. After that, he sailed through the Bahamas to Florida. After that, he settled more in Florida. After that, he went back to the Caribbean Sea. And then he explored some more. He took risks by trying to find the Fountain of Youth, which was very risky because it didn't exist. He also took risks because he killed a lot of natives and that would harm his leadership. He killed a lot of natives, like a lot. In February of 1521, he sailed back to Florida to set up colonies. He landed in the southwest coast of Florida where he tried to set up a colony. The settlement was attacked by natives and Ponce de Leon was injured during the attack. He was buried in Puerto Rico in the crypt of the San Jose Church. This concludes another exciting episode of Documentaries by Almost History. Thanks for watching, and come back next week for a documentary on how aliens do not exist. I just came back from Africa. Yeah. I did it. I did it, dude. All of the evidence? It's right here. It's right here. Ponce de Leon? He's not dead. He's alive. He found the Fountain of Youth. He's young again. He's still alive today. Look. Look right here. Place last seen. Barcelona, Spain. March 21st, 2016. How do you explain that? All the evidence? It's right in here, in my hands. What? What do you mean security? What? No. No, don't do it. No. 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 Don't do it. No. 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 No.